Hi everyone, this is a video tutorial on how to use the web tool GoAnimate. To use this web tool you first need to go to www.goanimate.com. Then you'll be um, brought to this um, home screen right here. From here, if you already have an account, you go to log in. If you haven't signed up for an account yet, you can go down here to sign up for free. There's also other um, plans and pricing options. And here you can see the different um, packages that are available depending on which one you choose. More options are available to you. But with the basic free um, plan, there's so much you can do with that in the classroom. So why not go for the free option? So since I have an account already, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and log in and then I'll be back right here. Now that I've logged on, this is the screen that I'll see. It's my dashboard screen. You can see the videos I've created before. To make a new video, I'm going to go up to Make a Video. From here, you have the option to make your video from scratch, or you can choose one of the templates or themes down here. There's definitely a lot to choose from. And from there is where you pick your characters. Uh, for this video, I'm going to go ahead and choose the wildlife template. And it's basically giving you an overview, um, telling you how to create your GoAnimate video. I'm going to click Next. This is the first step where you choose your setting. Uh, with the free package that I'm signed up for for GoAnimate, you only have the two options of two scenery on this one. The rest of them are for um, subscribers for different packages. And as you can see, there's some pretty fun ones. Um, but this will do right here. I'm going to click Next. And then this is where you select your characters for your video. And you have a few different options. Once again, there's ones that are subscribers only. I'm going to go with these two and click Next. And then the third step is where you basically type in your dialogue or you have the option to do a voice recording. And that's what I love about Go Anime is some of us just don't love to hear our voices on a recording. So this is an option where if you don't want to do a voiceover, you can just type in your dialogue. So I'm going to choose that option and type in the dialogue right here. And what's really neat is you have a chance to switch the voice. So if you don't want uh, an American sounding <coughs> voice, you can choose male or female. You have a lot of different options. Let's see here. And then there's subscribers only, of course, down there. Let's see what he sounds like. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and use Bridget. For the drafts voice and I'm going to add dialogue for this zebra now and I just basically clicked on the add dialogue one and I'm going to type in her dialogue or I should say his dialogue and once again choose a voice I'm going to confirm the voice and if you'd like to see what it sounds like so far preview your video you can push preview down here might take a moment to load and that was a very short and sweet video you can choose to replay or save now give it a title and give it a description. You can even do a thumbnail. I'm going to go ahead and publish it now that I'm done. Um, this is where you get the option to um, what you want to do with your video. If you want to export it, which you have to upgrade to, embed it onto other sites, which of course you have to upgrade, or you can share this link which is a great option and basically just copy and paste and copy and paste wherever you want to. 
Now say I want to edit the video, add more dialogue. I just go, go to edit video, edit this video. And from here you have the option to change um, your video. For example, if you don't want the draft to be the first character to speak, I can push switch character. And now my character is the zebra. So the zebra would have two dialogues back to back. Of course, as I showed you down here, you can add dialogue. Say I want the draft to speak right there again. Um, and then type in your dialogue. Now say you would like to get rid of someone's dialogue. You could choose to go over here to the delete button and push delete. And so now I'm left with these two. And once again, I'm going to switch this character back. And it, as you'll notice, when you add dialogue, you have to keep in mind that you only have 180 characters per dialogue and you only have a maximum of 10 lines of dialogue and that is if you have the free subscription if you upgrade you have the option to have more lines of dialogue but like I said um, the free subscription has so many options still there's so much you can do with GoAnimate I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions feel free to contact me thank you so much for listening